A printer photoconductor drum has two gears. Contact gear, in which you'll find a copper contact. No contact gear. Various toner cartridges use the same drum, only the gears change. So it's possible, changing gears, to use a drum in a different cartridge. It's useful, if you can't find a particular drum, or the cost of a drum is too high. Wrap the drum into a sheet of paper, or a soft cloth. Be very careful, the coating of the drum is easily scratched. Remember. Too much light may damage the drum. Localize the contact gear side. Slide a metal rod inside the drum, until it meets the side wall of the other gear. Lightly, tap the rod a few times, until the gear comes loose. Do the same for the contact side, taking care not to damage the copper contacts that bite into the drum. Straighten out the contacts on the contact gear. Lightly sand the inside of the new drum, where the contact gear will be installed. This will help ensure good electrical contact. Apply a few drops of super glue, around the inside of the new drum. It's not important the side you install the contact gear. Do not use Loctite, the vapors could damage the coating of the drum. The best is a metal to metal special glue. Make sure there is no glue between drum wall and contacts. The glue is an insulator, and these contacts must touch the aluminium drum tube. If there is no contact there will be drum ground issues, and solid black pages. Gently, tap the gear onto a flat surface, until the gear sits flush. On the opposite side, place a few drops of glue on the inside wall of the drum, far from the edge. This will prevent the glue from overflowing into the drum coating when the drive gear is installed. Install the drive gear. Check for continuity the drum ground, with an ohm meter. Place one probes into the very edge on the drum, where there is no coating, and the other into the drum contact. Don't press in too hard, or the internal contacts may bend. Allow the glue to dry for an hour. Check if the gears are fastened, and the drum should be ready to use.